It is the 13th of November. It is a Monday morning. It is weekend, Helen! Yay! <laughs> 15 days to go. <laughs> Three weeks left, 15 days to go. It is 7 <laughs> I'm <not> counting. <laughs> we are off to our school based clinic this morning. Wednesday is our last session, so we're starting to think of how we're going to wrap up our therapeutic relationship, closure to our sessions, maybe have something fun in the last session on Wednesday. Are you thinking mm -hmm. the same? Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. I'm driving. Lago. Afternoon. It is 2.14. So we got back to the clinic maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. I've just been finishing my lunch and completing my progress notes. So I had, I saw two clients today at the school-based clinic. It's our second last session. So on Wednesday, it is our final session. So it'll be important to wrap up and closure of our therapeutic relationship and go over all the strategies and techniques and the things we've trialed, what's been effective. So what should continue, give some strategies for the teachers as well. We'll have an opportunity to talk to parents, um, hopefully uh, next week. So discuss what we've been doing in therapy, what again, what the effective strategies and activities have been. So that'll be a really great opportunity. So during today's session, I actually introduced the concept of mindfulness to both my clients. So I think it is beneficial for um, stress in the school environment with exams, as well as distractions and being aware of where your mind might wander and how to bring it back and how to be in the moment and be a aware of what you're doing, consciously participating in class and being aware of your body, how you're feeling, etc. which is kind of what mindfulness is all about. So I used a, multi a multimedia approach to discussing mindfulness. So I used a video that talked about mindfulness versus mindlessness. So I can link that if you'd like. And then we had a look at the different structures of the brain, use the hand model. So the limbic system is the thumb, we have the spinal, your arm is kind of like the spinal cord and you have your reptilian brain, like your brain stem, it's kind of like your wrist and your palm and then you have the cortex coming over and we talked about how emotions, where emotions are and how they connect to the cortex of the brain and all the different functions of the brain. So I think that really can help some children, some clients to understand mindfulness when you put it in respect of how the brain works and how we think. Tell them what happened. So, the vending machine downstairs, if you buy the worms or the pack of chips every now and then, which is like every other time. It's happened to me too. With chips. It's happened to me twice. Yeah. It will fall, like two packets will fall instead of just the one. I like to think it's calm. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's hard. It's just like, you know, like, you need this. Thank you. What are you doing? Progress notes and then session plan for Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Do you have anything fun planned for your last session? Well, not yet, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye.